أعوذ بالله من الشيطان العين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين أبي القاسم محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم ولا نبيت الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين سيما بقيت الله في الأرضين حجة من حسن الأسكري ولعنة الله على عداهم أجمعين من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون. So these are some of the verses in the Holy Quran with regards to fasting that we can extract ahkam from. يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام in uh, some of the verses in the Holy Quran you see that it starts like this يا أيها الذين آمنوا now, for the person reciting it, <coughs> they would think that, uh, obviously speaking to us, the mu'mineen, uh, the people reading it. One of the consequences of Ya Ayyuhal Ladheena Amanu could be that if a person was not a Muslim previously, they may not have to redo the fasts and the prayers because of this Ya Ayyuhal Ladheena Amanu. Most of the ahkam, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran speaks to people, He says, Ya ayya ladhin amanu. So, you the mu'mineen, go and fast. You the mu'mineen, go and pray. You the mu'mineen, don't do this, don't do that. Which means that for the kuffar, there is no duty. So if the kafir becomes a Muslim, some of the fuqaha have said, due to uh, the wording of the ayat, they don't need to redo the A'mal. Ala kulla This is <coughs> non-believers in Allah or Non-Muslims. Non-Muslims, non-Muslims. There are kuf- kuffar <coughs> or anything outside Islam. Ahl al-Kitab are Jews, Muslims and Christians. They have a holy book from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, where the discussion is of the cleansiness or non-cleansiness and so forth. But they're still kuffar. Um, anything outside uh, Islam. Ala kullaha. Ayyaman ma'adudat faman kana minkum maridan aw ala safarin fa'iddatum min ayyamin akhar wa ala alladhina yutiqoonahu fidyatun ta'am miskinan faman tadawwa'a khayran fahuwa khayrun lahu wa an tasumu khayrun lakum in kuntum ta'lamun. There were two exceptions in the ayah that we have in the rules with regards to a person who is sick and a person who is traveling. With regards to the person uh, who is sick and traveling, there is this ayah and it's mentioned again uh, a little bit further here. So for example, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزَلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنِ هُدًا لِلنَّاسِ وَبَيِّنَاتٍ مِّنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَانِ فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمُ الشَّهَرِ فَلَيْسُمْهُ this, this part is important with regards to the discussion we had before. We said the Shah Ramadan, you fast the entire month and you don't need to have a niyyah and it's wajib al mu'ayyan compared to wajib ghayr mu'ayyan. Uh, this is a ta'yin, this is a ta'yin of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mu'ayyan the Shah Ramadan faqat. فَلَيْسُمْهُ وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيدًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرًا This is the second time it repeats it. There's some different explanations of why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has repeated ala maridan aw safarin twice. One of them is the importance of it. To make sure that no one uh, disobeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this situation. Now, again, there is some exceptions within the, uh, within the rule. We'll come to uh, in a moment. <coughs> أو على سفر فعدة من أيام آخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد الله ولا يريد بكم العسر. الله سبحانه وتعالى wants what is uh, easy for you, not what is difficult for you. على كلها. So first of all, with regards to uh, the first ayah and with regards to the fast, we said one of the first things we see is that Allah سبحانه وتعالى has given us واجب معين واجب which is between these days, the days of Shah Ramadan only. So that's when the Niyyah starts. Uh, with regards to the exceptions that 
the Holy Quran has put down for us with regards to people that don't have the taqa yutiqunahu how the taqa there's a difference between taqa and taqa it's not the time to discuss it right now but the point of the matter is that whoever doesn't have the ability whoever doesn't have the ability to fast is excluded from those <coughs> who are uh, in the compulsory section to fast. Uh, from the Holy Ayah we can see this. Taqa uh, or ability meaning يتحمل المشقة or being able to withstand the difficulty of fasting. Because the difficulty may be for everyone. But certain people can take that difficulty and doesn't harm their bodies. Certain per- people uh, can't take that difficulty. Well, we need to talk to talk about this a fair bit. The reason being that, for example, uh, when you have uh, people that fa- want to fast and they think it's uh, a good thing that they fast when they're traveling, or it's a good thing that if they travel uh, or if they fast and they're sick. <laughs> First of all, when we talked about niyyah, we said the niyyah has to be qurrat Allah azza wa jal. Correct. If you know that what you're acting upon has not been asked from you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So imagine that uh, you're traveling and your prayer needs to be two rakat instead of four. You're doing the Dhuhr prayer. Instead of the Dhuhr prayer, instead of the two rakat prayer, you say, you know what? I'm going to do uh, a better prayer. I'm going to do it times two. The betterness or completeness is the unto Allah Azza wa Jal. In those conditions, Allah has asked you for two rakats. So not for the four rakats. So your duty is to do two rakats. Hence, to do anything other than two rakats, you cannot have a niyyah of Qurrat Allah Azza wa Jal. You can't have the correct niyyah, intention. If you did three, for example, if you did a ten, in fact, why do four rakats, Allahur? I'll do fourteen rakats. The reason being Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has to be uh, pleased with your actions and it has to be something that he has asked for. In fasting during the... Uh, one's travels is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not asked for and in fact it's forbidden so someone that wants to fast if they're traveling less than 10 days and they meet the criteria it means that they cannot have the intention of Rabbit Allah in the first place so not only that in Shah Ramadan you cannot fast anything else as we talked about another and so forth but also if you're fa- if you're uh, sick or if you're traveling you can't have the niyyah which is the first point in the whole discussion your niyyah is, is incorrect you have to do something qurrat on Allah and if Allah has not asked you then how can you do it to, to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so there's a contradiction in terms it's, <coughs> it's not it's very simple in kull al-abadat you need to have the niyyah of qurrat Allah azza wa jal niyyah of qurrat Allah means what something Allah has, has, has asked for you you, you you're doing uh, to please Allah Azza wa Jal, correct? If Allah has not asked you, but forbidden you, is there any way you can do that Qurwata Allah? Think of it in your heads. It is haram to do ghaybah, to talk behind someone's back, a mu'min's back. Can you do such an act, saying I'll do it for Allah's sake? It is haram to drink alcohol, can you do it in the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal? It's, there's a contradiction in terms. So sometimes something has not been put down or you don't know whether it's mustahab or wajib or, or so forth. Something, there, 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 there is a law that tells you that Allah does not want you to do this. Hence, if Allah says you cannot fast whilst traveling or whilst you're, being, you're sick, then you cannot have the correct intention to, in the first place. If the intention is, is not correct, then the entire... Act becomes invalid. We'll come to the certain rawat with regards to the Ahl al-Bayt and Ahl al-Sunnah as well. With regards to the fasting in Shah Ramadan. Um, and also, it's, it's good to explain here, some of the Ahl al-Sunnah, the Fuqaha of Ahl al-Sunnah have mentioned that uh, fasting in Ramadan is something which is 
uh, it's, it's down to the person to decide. So they, they have a choice in whether they fast or don't fast. Um, a couple of rawayat in the books of Ahl Sunnah. So this is uh, in in uh, in the book of Muslim, uh, Sahih Muslim. بسند عن جابر بن عبد الله إن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خرج عام الفتاة لما إلى آخره. They said some people have uh, have been fasting in, in while traveling, and he said قد uh, إن بعض الناس قد صام فقال أولئك أصات أولئك الأصات. Those the sinners, those people are sinners. Also, there's another hadith from Muslim and Jabir كان رسول الله عليه وسلم they they went to uh, again to uh, traveling somewhere, and there was a there was a person, and they said this person is fasting. Uh, the Prophet Laysa min bar min bir and tasumu safar. So we see the uh, importance or significance of putting down a person who wants to fast in Ramadan. It's not only uh, not compulsory, but it's actually forbidden to do. Amma rawat Ahlul Bayt, alayhim wassalatu wassalam. We have many rawat from Ahlul Bayt, alayhim wassalam, with explicit detail of not fasting in uh, Shahr Ramadan if you're traveling. Summa Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so the Prophet heard about a group fasting. حين أفطر وقصر أصاد فقال هم العصات إلى يوم القيامة. The sinners until the day of judgment. Another hadith from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم. إن الله عز وجل تصدق على مرضى مرضى أمتي. الله عز وجل has given صدقة to the sick people of my ummah and the people who are travelled with what? What is the صدقة from Allah سبحانه وتعالى بالإفطار. Giving them the permission to break their fast. في شهر رمضان أي حب أحدكم لو تصدق بصدق أن ترد عليه. If someone gives you a صدق, would it be nice to give it back to them? So Allah is giving you this blessing. Why throw it back at his face? Another رواية عن عبد الله عليه السلام لو إن رجلا مات صائما في السفر ما صليت عليه. If a person died. And they were fasting during their travels, I would not pray on that person. So, very hard hitting a hadith with regards to <coughs> the uh, avoidance of fasting during uh, safar and traveling. With regards to sickness, it becomes slightly different. Why? Because with regards to travel, it's very black and white less than 10 days, and it's not your watan, it's not your place, that your homeland, then uh, you need to break your fast. Then less of two ways, if you work, uh, in, in your, your working is part of your uh, traveling, or traveling is part of your work. So for example, you're a driver, or a pilot of some kind, or you take uh, people, uh, to ziyarat and, 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 hajj, and hajj and so forth but until the point that your travels become uh, to a limit where all your prayers are done in full and you fast wherever you go whereas in, uh, when it comes to the sick people and for a sick person to fast it becomes uh, slightly shady inshallah we'll explain in the next session walhamdulillah rabbil alameen